Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. I'm Lexi, if you're new here, welcome, subscribe, stay a while, it's a fun time. Ah, oh, what day is it? It's Tuesday morning. I have the morning off from work, so I figured why not vlog. Just made some coffee, my fave combo ever, the Starbucks toasted graham K-cup with Italian sweet cream creamer. I think it's just like the regular creamer brand. Why can I not think of it? Creamer Mate, I think. I don't know. Uh, delish. So that's what I'm drinking this morning. I just took, oh my gosh, guys, I can't even turn my neck. We need to have a chat about, apparently I need a new pillow. I literally cannot move my head today. And I think I'm gonna put the neck massager thing I have from Amazon on in a minute because I, I just can't move. I need a new pillow, clearly. So maybe later today I'll stop and grab one of those. I don't know. But it has been like a few days of this and I can't deal with this neck pain and like not being able to move my head. So that is the first life update. The second life update is I finally started filling out our little wedding planner book and not only is it nice to like have a visual for myself, let's see, what page can I show you guys without giving it too much away? But also like it's nice, oh I can show you like the makeup and beauty section for like hair and makeup and then just like some inspo photos, but like it's nice to have a visual for myself to print out things. Um, but also there's cute pages that I feel like this would be a really cute keepsake once down the road we have kids and whatnot. I just feel like this would be really, really cute because there's things like, where is it? I haven't filled these pages out yet, but like our favorite moments together and you can print out pictures and put them in the book. There's also, and then there's, you know, there's things, I'll link this, I got it from Amazon. There's like timelines on each page, like things you have to get done, you know, within so many months to the wedding. There's outfit mood boards that like can help you pick out like dress styles and whatnot. I don't know, I love this thing. There's like a whole guest section where you can write everybody's like name, email address, things like that. Um, venues to keep track of and vendors and then honeymoon planning. But there's also like, a page that lets you write like your wedding day itinerary and then your wedding vows. Like you can write your wedding vows in here. There's wedding highlights. So you can take pictures from your wedding and like put them in here. I just think this would be a really cute keepsake to have to keep track of everything from the wedding. So I really wanted to fill it out. So I printed and cut some pictures for some things, but I'm gonna work on, I just on Canva put a bunch of pictures together and then print them out and cut them and tape them in. But, so I'm gonna work on some more pages for that. I'm also gonna watch last night's Summer House episode. I think it was the season finale. The Vanderpump Rules season finale was last week and then the reunion episodes start this week. Why is my hair in like such a side part? I don't know. Um, and wow, 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 wow. I cannot wait. It is just so wild and juicy. I truly can't. It is unreal that this is real TV. But I have a call with a potential office in the area for after residency at 10 a.m. So I'm going to take that. Then we might go to the gym, depending on how my neck feels. I think today is like all upper body anyways, but maybe we'll go to the gym. And then we have work. And then I will come home from work. We'll make dinner. I don't know what else. Oh, I ordered us uh, DNA kits, like ancestry kits, to see what Sean and I's lineages are and just get some more information. I don't know, I've been wanting to do this for a while but just been putting it off and then they were on sale. So Sean and I ordered those so I think later today we will send, we will like put it together, activate it, send it in the mail for that and then I want jury duty too in a couple weeks. So I have to figure that out. Never been on jury duty, you guys know if you know me. Big news. Um, <laughs> Hopefully I'm selected, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see about that too, but just like random things on the horizon that I need to look at and get done this morning. But happy Tuesday morning. I am going to get the neck massager here. I'll show you guys that at least really fast. Looks like this. 
And you just wear it like this and then you can put your arms through this and still do stuff. But it keeps it like where it needs to be. And it just massages your neck. It's the greatest thing ever. I got it for Christmas from my parents like a few years back. And oh my gosh, it's like a lifesaver. Let's turn up the intensity a little bit. And there's heat, I turn the heat on. Oh yeah, this is good stuff. So I'm going to put on the TV, sit with this a little bit and then get some work done. Hello, I am popping in this vlog to share a little haul with you guys. I got some new first form goodies and then I'm going to, well, I'll just get into it and then I will tell you guys a little bit more in a minute once we get going. I'm trying to get like good lighting here. Okay, so a bunch of goodies from first form. First and foremost, but um, uh, I got a new gym bag and I'm so excited because you guys know I've been using this one for a very, very long time, like years and years and years. And it's great, but like the zippers are starting to break on it and it drives me absolutely insane. So it was time to upgrade. So I got a nice bag from First Form. I'm gonna show you guys. It is black. It is, oh my gosh, it's so nice. I'm so excited. It's got like the little First Form logo here as well. Let me get it like up and moving. We've got like a little mesh side pocket. And then a zipper pocket on the side. We've got a front big zipper pocket as well. And then on this side, I think is a shoe storage pocket. Yep, love that and mesh to let them breathe afterwards because I do keep my Vans just in my gym bag. And then a little Velcro strap action like to hold it and then a huge pocket on the top with what I would assume yep, is a shoulder strap that can be attached as well which I usually use the longer shoulder strap so I'm going to attach that on the sides but it's nice that you have the option oh my gosh I'm so excited it's such good quality oh, I love love it so yeah the inside pocket is big and then there's like a little smaller mesh pocket, um, not mesh, but like cloth. And wow, I'm so excited. This is definitely bigger than the one I'm currently using, which is fantastic. So I'm going to switch out. I'll show you guys at the end of this haul, everything that's currently in my gym bag and we'll like reassemble it all, but very pumped about that. And then going in my gym bag, now that I am getting a little bit stronger, and doing squats and whatnot. Sean, you guys know, has had back issues in the past. And because of that, he, as well as the manager at our gym, recommended that I get a belt. So this one's super nice, like really, really good quality. Basically, if you don't know, it's just like a weightlifting belt. Granted, I don't do anything crazy, but just to have for support when I do squats and stuff, once I get heavier weights, it is like, wow, really, really nice quality. And yeah, that's that. So I'm excited about this. This is gonna go right in my gym bag so that I always have it. Again, black, really like supportive, sleek. And I got it in a size small. So I'm very excited about that. And then, so what else do we got here? Oh, I got this to put on my bag. I'm so excited, this little dues paid first form patch and it's velcro or you can stick it as a sticker i'm hoping i mean i can put it on my weightlifting belt for sure with the velcro i'm hoping i could stick it on my bag with the velcro but if not like i said it is a sticker um let's see do i want to put it on my belt actually it's kind of cool on my belt maybe or on my bag Oh, there's a Velcro thing on the side of my bag. That would be really cool. I'm gonna do that, I think. And then maybe I'll get like a couple more patches. How fun, I love that. So I put it on the side of my bag. I guess I should put it in the middle for now. But that is cool. So I've got it on my bag. Love it, yeah, I'm definitely gonna get 
some more of these because I think that would be really fun to put gym bag and weightlifting belt and whatnot. Sort of like start collecting them. Then, so refill products, the ignition, which is the glycogen formula that we take with, I take it after the gym with my workout, but you can take it pre-workout or post. Sean usually does pre, I don't know if he does post to be completely honest with you, but supports muscle growth and glycogen levels and whatnot to help you build muscle instead of using it as energy. So very excited. It helps with recovery time as well. And it's tasteless, blends right into water, milk, whatever you put your protein into, but we ran out, we already went through it. So got a restock of that. And then level one formula, we're trying the strawberry milkshake this time. So this is the sustained protein five grams of BCAA per serving. Again, it's low temperature process, so it doesn't clump and get nasty. It doesn't give me a stomach ache. And this one has 23 grams of protein. So I'm going to be mixing this into like smoothies in the morning and things like that. And I really wanted a strawberry protein. Then another one of the Enduraformans, which is the non-stimulant pre-workout. We're almost out of the berry lemonade. So we got green apple this time to try it. Uh, very excited about this and it has electrolytes in it. So it's a great workout additive to your water and it's stimulant free for those of us who have heart problems and also don't need caffeine when we work out in the evening. So we love that. And then it looks like they put in a little vegan power pro bar peanut butter crunch to try just like a free sample. And Sean wanted to try a new flavor of the level one protein bars that you guys know we love. So he picked out chocolate crunch, which I'm actually excited for as well because I think this one's gonna be my favorite. You guys know I like the cookie dough, but I think this one's going to be my fave as well. And then I got Sean a t-shirt, let's see it. Ooh, we can match. I have this one as well, but I got it in his size in the men's, so cute. That is everything I got from First Form. Uh, I will have the links to all of these things down below. You guys know they're my fave supplement workout company in general. I love working with them and their products are actually fantastic. So if you wanna try anything out, the links are always down below and let me know what you guys think, what you try, especially if you try different flavors that I haven't tried, I'm dying to know. Then, not from First Form, but from Amazon, again, on the weightlifting accessory realm, I, needed a barbell pad for when I use the Smith machine to do squats or even when I do like hip thrusts and stuff if I wanna use a barbell instead of the machine because a lot of the times the machine is taken at our gym for that. It looks like all the girls are doing glute days. But, so I got this one on Amazon. I will link it down below. It is just a, I think the brand is Sparthos barbell pad. It is this like dark blue color, matches my headphones and it comes with the little straps, I believe, to like keep it in place if I'm not mistaken, tighten it. You guys, I'm still pretty new at this, even though I've been going now for, I don't even know when I started this whole fitness journey, but I still am new, especially with these accessories, but it's really, really nice and cushiony, which I feel like will be great for me when I'm using it, so. I'm excited about it and it was like less than 10 bucks. So I think it's time now. Let's go through and do a, like a what's in my gym bag and also switch to the new gym bag. Let me put these things back in the box. Cause I'm gonna show Sean when he gets home. He's gonna be excited. That's that. So let's switch out the gym bag. Let me empty the old one. I'll show you guys what's in it and then I'll put in the new one. So my water bottle, just a Classic, I'm smelling it to make sure that it like, doesn't stink. Um, classic Gatorade water bottle, nothing exciting. I fill it up at the gym. Um, I have a heart rate monitor from when I did F45. I like to just keep this in my gym bag in case. I'm pretty sure you can use it and just like hook it up to your phone. I'm not 100% sure, but I know you can hook it up when you do F45 and I did like F45. So in case I ever start again, I just like to keep my heart rate monitor in here. Then I've got my headphones. And then I keep in here as well these um, 
glute bands from Love Sweat Fitness. And the little bag says nice butt, which I think is cute. But um, we've got heavy, medium, and light, just silicone glute bands in case I ever want to add those to my workout. I might be the kind of person, I don't know, we'll see how full this bag is, but I do have a lock for my gym bag in the locker room, but maybe, I don't know, if I decide to bring this stuff around with me, depending on how many accessories I use, maybe I'll do that. We will see. And then I got, um, these are the Love Sweat Fitness resistance bands. They're just like the regular resistance bands in case I want to add those to a workout. And then on Amazon with the barbell pad, I also purchased these, um, I don't even know, this is the brand. Again, I'll link it down below, it's from Amazon. But these are ankle straps, and they also have a foot strap that go around your foot for cable kickbacks on the cable machine. Our gym didn't have ankle straps and I wanted my own, plain black. Simple stuff, again, I'm just like, I can't believe I'm getting into like weightlifting accessories now. Who is she? And then a random bobby pin in this pocket. And I think that that's everything in here. Then we've got in the very front pocket, my key tag for my gym membership, even though I usually scan it on my phone, and then a lock for the lockers. And then I think this is like my toiletry pocket. Yeah, so we've got a little bit of dry shampoo left in here. Um, a razor, body wash, deodorant, a mini brush, and then some face wipes. And honestly, I usually come home and shower from the gym. I usually don't shower at the gym, but it's nice to keep these in my bag just in case I need to, if I am pinched for time. And then what do we got on this pocket? I don't even know what's in my gym bag. Literally nothing, it's empty. And then my sneakers are over here, and I think that's everything that is in my gym bag for now. So, let me just quickly make sure this one's empty before I might put it in my donate pile because like I said, the zippers work, they just get stuck a lot and I've outgrown this now that I have all these accessories. So, that one is gone. Now it is time to fit everything in this gym bag. I was pretty sure I had like a bunch of hair ties. Am I missing a pocket? I swear I had like a bunch of hair ties in my gym bag as well but I don't see any, so I must have just, oh wait, yeah, there is a zipper pocket in here. I bet you this is it. Emergency tampons and hair ties and a bobby pin again. So fantastic. I will be keeping these in my new gym bag. I really thought I did, so I'm really glad I checked that as well. So now it's time to figure out how we're gonna put all this stuff in here. So, I mean, it is really spacious, Let's start with the little things like the hair ties and the key tag and whatnot. So I am going to put that in here, the hair ties in here. And then I'm gonna do that stuff in a minute. I'm gonna put my shoes in first because I feel like those are gonna take up a lot of space. So let's do that with my cute little patch. I'm so excited. So sneakers will go in here. Oh yeah, this bag is already so much more spacious than my other one, I'm so excited. And then in the main pocket, I'll put my belt, which is taking up, oh no, it's not bad, there's still a lot of room. So I've got my belt, then probably the barbell pad should go in next. Okay, it is big enough for that. I was worried that that would not fit, but oh my gosh, so much space for activities. Then I will put those guys in, the resistance bands and the glute bands. I've got the ankle straps, headphones, heart rate monitor. I need to dump the rest of the little bit of water out that's in here. water bottle, um, headphones. Actually, honestly, the water bottle? Nah, I'll just put it in there for now. Okay, awesome. Then we have the entire front pocket and the side pocket. Let's see, can I put, yes, dry shampoo and all of the toiletries fit in the side pocket. And then that 
way I can just leave this and then I'll put my keys in the front pocket so that I don't have to like go searching for them. And that is amazing. And there's still so much space. I cannot believe it. So as you guys can see, literally everything is in that pocket and there's still a ton of space, which maybe I should do like a designated gym towel because I don't have one of those in my bag. But now that I have the space for it, oh, I'm so excited. I know I've said that like 30 times, but she is so cute. I'm gonna tighten the strap. I just loosened it way too much. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited to bring this new bag to the gym. Incredible, look at it, and my little patch. Ugh, amazing, I'll link all of this, including the bag down below, but she's a real gym, what are they, what are they called? I know like they call guys like gym rats, what do they call girls? I saw something on Instagram that was like muscle mommies and I just cannot get behind that. Um, but I'm a gym girly now. Cute. Maybe I will actually loosen this and wear it like crossbody. What do we think? Or I can just carry it. She's so versatile. This is incredible. I feel like an upgraded woman. And this is just, wow. So happy with this bag. It is exceeded expectations and it is such good quality for the price. Now I need to take the tag off. Cool, so exciting. Okay, I am done babbling, but one more shot of the bag. I'm gonna pose for the thumbnail. Cool, okay, TTYL, back to the vlog. Hello. We were just watching Ted Lasso and I was watching Love Island earlier, so I feel like I have to talk with an accent, but here we are, headed to the gym. What did you put in your water? I put the non-stimulant Endura Performance, the green apple. Uh, I really like this one because this is my favorite been, flavor so far. Trying to get away from um, caffeine. Yeah, caffeine, and this is gives me energy. It gives me what I want in it, uh, which is uh, the beta alanine. Also, it has uh, creatine monohydrate, about five uh, grams, which I need. Uh, it has good potassium in it too. Um, but I and really like. good. This green apple is probably the best flavor, and I love that it's non-stimulant, but still has the benefits of the workout. <clears throat> this gives me the ultimate en energy, though. Well, I never have never taken this before. When Lexi started working with Force Form, and I started using this, this is the glycogen um, super composition formula. It's the ignition. This stuff gives me so much more energy for extra sets and extra reps. I mix it with my protein after the workout. You can do it before, <laughs> after, whatever. Sean does both. So this says that um, you know the serving size is one scoop, but it recommends for uh, males for pre-workout half scoop and females a quarter scoop. So if you're a female and buy this, then you get 80 servings. <laughs> Um, but I've used half before. I've used one and this is our second um, refill of it because we love <clears> it. When I use a full scoop, I feel like strong. Yeah, I feel like it can go forever. And it's flavorless. You can just mix it in anything. Yeah. So then I I can mix it with that. Also, um, I've had if I'm not doing pre workout, if in the morning sometime I mix a gallon of water and I throw this not. Uh, uh, non-flavored creatine in there. Five grams creatine monohydrate, super simple, uh, pretty affordable on uh, First Form website. Yeah, it so is. So give these supplements a shot. I'll link everything down below, but we love it. Um, what do you think of the double chocolate protein bar? Is that your favorite or is the salted caramel pretzel? Oh, dude, it's on the fence. We have also had to have a... I couldn't speak there. We've also had cookie dough. I think the double chocolate is my favorite. Cookie dough? That was the first pack we had. Was cookie it? dough is good, but I think the double chocolate is probably my favorite, and then I the meat really, sticks for me are my favorite because I, I don't like sweet as much as I like salty. So when I need a protein snack, I go for the meat sticks. The protein, the level one bars are probably uh, my most favorite protein bars I've ever had. Yeah, they don't taste like nasty. Like yeah, the protein bars I too. like you know like we have a whole box so and I eat one every single morning. Um, so we you go can through imagine, about a box a month. 
Yeah, you can imagine that, like, eating the same thing every single day would get old. But since I've been switching up, like, the flavors, yeah, they have a bunch and of flavors. it's just not the the bars aren't chalky. They're not, um, you know, they're good. Yeah, they're not that fake sugar taste. Yeah, I agree. Which is really good. Um, it's just it's just a natural bar, and it fills me up the entire morning. So uh, I usually supplement that with um, a scoop of the uh, chocolate protein powder. What uh? I've been doing. I so I have fruit punch. We have the loop to fruit, which is like fruity pebbles. We have chocolate. We have. I think that's it for the Formula One, but I've been mixing the fruit punch with the L-carnitine powder, which is, I think, peach mango or something, um, and that's a good flavor mix. This chocolate milkshake uh, protein, I mix it with my Fairlife chocolate milk in the morning. It is good um, mixed with chocolate milk. It is very good, and uh, this is also has five grams of BCAs, so um, getting your branched chain amino acids and your protein. Sean's the science guy behind all the workout so, stuff. He knows more about that. I'm learning, but I, I've probably I I like it because it tastes good. It doesn't give me a stomach ache and like I actually enjoy it. He likes it because of those reasons, but also because he knows that it's got good stuff in it. The past couple months that we've been using first form, I've probably put on about say like eight pounds of muscle, nine pounds. Of, uh, well, I put on nine pounds. And I've lost fat, so, so yeah. I think that I've That's definitely crazy. seen some of my biggest gains in my life using these products. So, see, that sounded like a sponsored ad, but we actually just genuinely use the products. So, mm -hmm. you guys just saw oh, I did the a green apples, just so good. It is so good. I did a little haul for y'all earlier in the vlog, but yeah. This is not like sponsored endorsement. I do work with them, but this is just me telling you that I genuinely love the product. So. I'm gonna go to the gym now, TTYL, later. Hello, I am here to end the vlog, but I wanted to update you guys. I put together the like memories, photos for the wedding book, and I figured this will not give anything away, and you've seen most of these photos, but how cute is this? I just printed out a bunch of pictures of us, and put them in here just as like a little keepsake, but I just thought that was so fun. And then I absolutely love that I am on Totino's, like the pizza rolls PR list, and they sent me a Totino's bucket hat and an oven mitt. Like, honestly, you know, I may not be like a Revolve girly, but Totino's, this tracks. <laughs> I love them. I DM'd them like recently told them to bring back the buffalo chicken pizza rolls because they were fire. Uh, other PR that I got, I don't think I've shown you guys this yet, but Naturium sent me their vitamin C serum. And honestly, if she can fix her neck like that, these forehead wrinkles, I'm gonna give this a go. And then Ren Skincare sent me some of their skincare. This is the Overnight Recovery Balm. So I think that sounds amazing on my face before bed. My battery died, but we are back. I also just ordered myself, finally, I've had them like just sitting in a cart for months. The Hoka sneakers, uh, I will put a picture right here if I can remember which ones I got. They are on sale um, on Dick's Sporting Goods right now and they have the color that I've been really wanting. They're like a fun, bright pink color, so very excited about that. I ordered them online. I don't know when they'll be here, but I just need some like good comfy sneakers for even honestly days like today when I'm in the OR, I was hurting in my Crocs. You know, the Crocs are cute and fun, but they're not the best for like standing all day. Like my knees definitely felt it. Yeah, I suppose that's it. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. Uh, sorry, I have a headache. That's why I keep messing with my hair, but I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, leave some video ideas down below. Uh, I'm a fan of just picking up the camera and vlogging, but if you have any other ideas, of course, once like the wedding stuff ramps up, um, I'll do some videos on that. But for now, there's nothing exciting happening. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me over on Instagram for daily updates and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.